compete at these competitions where in today's show we'll talk the about the robotics club year, so the robot depends the rochester demolition we went around the school and, here with and kiss the pig You may have heard of the Rochester Demolishment. We have more information about that. Rochester Elementary is being torn down after years of being closed. We went around the school and asked a few students some questions about it. Let's go check it out. Um, I went since 2008 from kindergarten to sixth grade. Ooh, that was a long time ago. I started in kindergarten, so I think that was around 2008. I went to Rochester from 2006 to 2013. I was at Rochester for, in, for four school years, 2009 until, let's say, fall of 2009 until May of 2013. I was the principal of that building, actually. Um, there were a lot of like good memories there, so it just being gone, all the rooms are gone, and yeah. Um, it didn't affect me as much, but I think later on when the school actually is finished, demolished, probably affect me more because it's actually be gone. I mean, from going to Rochester since kindergarten all the way up to th sixth grade, it makes me really sad because that's where I spent my childhood. Those are all my memories. Well, I just think anytime you have to tear something down, it's, it, it seems sad, although that building itself was many different levels and probably the physical building did need to be demolished. Um, it, it's just means change. Uh, my favorite memory at the end of the school year, we would always have um, activities, and I like the bouncy house. Uh, we had a lizard in my sixth grade classroom, and during recess, we would go out and crutch, catch crickets for the lizard and feed it to him. Um, I have a lot of favorite memories. Some of them include like second grade when we did Zooland or just all the class pets that we had to all the class jokes. Absolutely, the students of whom I get to see many up here at the high school still and the staff. The staff, uh, great people and the families. I did take a memento from the school if you ever tried to pull into that school or out of that school during the day off Rochester, the, it was crazy. So I had a seven and a half minute parking sign made that is now at my house. That is my memento from that building. Um, we had a flagpole with a bunch of bricks with people's names under it. And so I was able to take that back and have that back to look on. Make sure to go and pick up a brick. The English ACT prep class is this evening with Miss Marshbank in room 920 from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The cost is $10. Also, there are still slots available for the ACT power prep class on Friday, February 15th. Stop by the front office to pick up your registration form. The cost is $45 for each session. There are several scholarship op opportunities available, including two Seaman High School Alumni Association Awards and an OFG Financial Service Scholarship. Check out the counselor's website or stop by their office to learn more. Junior internship applications are due by March 1, 2019. The link can be found below or on the Schoology Class of 2020 page. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Goebel in C4. And now for some quick reminders. The Battle of Bands is Monday, February 25th, and tickets are on sale. Viking Brewery is closed for the rest of the week. <clears throat> and Kiss the Pig has started. Place any money or coins into the jar of the teacher you would like to kiss the pig. Which teacher would you like to kiss the pig? Allie has more on that. 
Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Van Gordon to learn more about Kiss the Pig. So what exactly is it? So Kiss the Pig is a competition between teachers that we've had for the last five years. And all of the money goes to SCARS, which is Second Chance Animal Refuge Society in Auburn. And so what happens is the teachers are put up against each other and have to compete for to see who can wait, raise the most money. Uh, so this year we tried to do it to where you would put the money in the jar of the teacher that you want to kiss the pig, um, but that's not working. So we're going back to how we used to do it, of the teacher that raises the most money wins and they get saved from kissing the pig. So the people who we have up against each other are LaDuke versus Rudy, Ruda versus Weens, Lippy versus Elliot, Majet versus Stevie, Yoder versus Reinberg, Hoffmans versus Chromie, and Averill versus Anderson. So if you really want to see Miss Anderson kiss that pig, you want to put money in Miss Averill's jar. Awesome. Make sure and participate. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to donate to the teacher that you would like to kiss the pig. Attention, f uh, auditions for the Viking Variety Show are on Wednesday, February 13th, starting at 3.30. Any questions, please email Mrs. Dima. Stop by W18 and in person to sign up. Works, work, works awesome. Any parents wanting to help with that, their glow, the evening on Friday, April 12th and Saturday, April 13th, there is a link on Schoology for the volunteer sign up. If you have any questions about volunteer, please call Tammy Holliner. Life drawing is on Thursday from 6 to 7.30, 7.30 p.m. in room 9, 901. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement efforts around the Shawnee County Area High Schools starting February 25th to March 8th. Tickets will be issued for those not buckled up. Shawnee County Parks and Recreation will be hosting a job fair on February 18th at the Topeka Workforce Center. For more information, contact Olivia Mayer. Volunteers are needed for its Kids Night Out program. Any questions, contact Daniel Fig. We head over to Madison to learn the theme for tonight's game after this quick commercial break. Do you have a gently used stuffed animal? If so, come donate one at the boys basketball game. I loved you once, now somebody else can. Come join the Teddy Bear Toss donation during halftime at the boys basketball game versus Topeka West on Tuesday, February 12th. The stuffed animals will be going to the Kansas Highway Patrol. Booster Club is giving away free t-shirts tonight at 5.45 during the games tonight. If you want a free t-shirt, please make make sure you have your student ID or power school. Student Council is doing a teddy bear toss at halftime half time during the boys game, home against Topeka West. Anyone wanting to compete in track and field this spring, make sure you join the School G track and field group. All boys interested in playing golf need to stop by coaches, Coach Blackman's room E4 to sign up this week. Any girls interested in swim should attend, attend the informational meeting Wednesday, February 13th at 3.15 in room 9-11. Any questions, see Mr. Tucker. It's pretty cool, cold outside. Let's, see, let's check with Josh to see if it'll warm up. All right, good afternoon to you. Yeah, it was another cold start to the day and the rest of the day today looking quite chilly as well. We might try to get close to 40 degrees, but a big warm up is on the way for Wednesday and Thursday. Expecting highs in the low to mid 50s. However, temperature is going to be falling throughout your Valentine's Day and that's going to set up a snow chance for Friday. Let's take a look at the latest data coming in here to the SVTV Weather Center showing some snow, maybe even a little bit of sleet or freezing rain Friday afternoon and into Friday evening. Now, this is going to be a quick moving system, but there is a chance you could be looking at accumulating snowfall from this. So stay tuned for later forecasts. We'll keep you updated here with SVTV weather. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that we are looking at uh, temperatures, again, mild 
Wednesday and Thursday before we crash down to 17 Friday morning. There come the snow chances. Another one Saturday night into early on Sunday. But overall, much colder weather with highs in the 20s over the four-day weekend. Now, Jessica and Madison, back to you. Thanks, Josh, for the weather update. Let's go check out more to see about the Robotics Club. So today we're in lovely Derby, Kansas to check out a VEX Robotics Tournament. Let's go. Basically, a couple Saturdays every year, we'll all get in the bus and go two and a half hours to compete at these competitions where the competition changes every year, so the robot depends on what the competition is. So this year we had to build a robot to shoot a ball, get on a platform, and flip like cap things. There's a small fee of about $10, and we're gonna have a class next year, so I'm not quite sure when the class will be, but it's open to anyone. The class will be similar to a robotics club, and students who take robotics will have to participate in the yearly VEX Robotics Challenge for the class. Wow, that sounds cool. Remember, tonight's game theme is wide out. And make sure you bring your teddy bear for the teddy bear toss. In tomorrow's show, we'll learn more about the enrollment.